Hey, welcome to MCOM Solutions. My name is Jake. We're going to be talking some lessons learned in my Mestastic node hunting journey. Well, that journey, if you're not familiar, and the node hunting term, I'm going to give credit to an individual in our Telegram group. I won't name him here just in case he didn't want his name shared, but he's the one that brought up in the Telegram group. Link below if you're interested in that group. It, I thought it best described, you know, when you're looking for other Mestastic users. So node hunting is the term we will use henceforth. So about seven months ago, I moved to Albania to live and work here. It's not permanent. So I came here with limited, basically baggage. So, and I'm going back with just check baggage. Therefore, it's put some constraints on what I, you know, the materials I have to use to build nodes and so on and so forth. Of course, I can buy stuff locally from hardware stores and stuff like that, but receiving mail here is fairly difficult. I have a workaround now for that, for the most part, but I still have got to be able to fit whatever I purchase or get rid of whatever I purchase before I go home. So I've been working within constraints. And this constraints, I think, sometimes is good because it makes you get creative. And maybe not be such perfectionist if you're one of those because my node that's out on the balcony which i call my balcony node is is definitely not pretty and i'm going to probably do some more updates we're going to show all three of some pictures of that in here but it works uh, i've made i just last week verified i could at least get 10 miles i'm going to be doing some further testing with that in kind of the northern direction for me there are some limitations because of the orientation of my balcony some other areas that i might not be able to reach because a big big building in the way right the, the apartment building i live in so since i've been here though have i made contact with other mystastic users well yes but were they here in albania no <laughs> one guy flying over you know north to south was going to i believe somewhere in greece just happened to see his message had about a 10 minute back and forth conversation with him before he dropped out of radio range and but that was very cool uh i can pick up a few nodes in montenegro but have not been able to make contact with them they're 83 kilometers away uh it appears the individual has a node on a repeater tower of some sort of radio tower some sort up on a hillside so good range I'm up kind of on a hill in the sixth floor of an apartment building, so I have decent range, but I have not been able to make contact. Therefore, I bought a Yagi antenna, and it's it's a cheapo kind of Chinese $20 Yagi antenna off of Amazon. <clears throat> and I just hooked it up, the images here, no contact yet. But we'll see what it produces, and we'll make some adjustments. I will throw it on the Nano VNA and do some testing on it too because it is a pretty low dollar antenna uh, performance may be very limited so we'll see what what we can come out of that the key i think is don't get discouraged if you're not if you're not finding users in your area start to join some social media groups discord uh, groups join our telegram group here uh, there's there's plenty of others there's some on you know Facebook and other uh, social media sites that's where you might make those initial contacts because if someone changes they go out and they go buy their mestastic radios and they immediately change from the default channel to their own private channel you may never know that they're in your area they could be your next door neighbor and you might not know so I do recommend that if, if you are looking for other users uh, and are not concerned about you know privacy and stuff like that you can just leave one of these set default and if you're worried about gps disable gps or don't have gps or change it to a fixed location or whatever i've done a whole video on that link up here or over here um <clears throat> but yeah so far zero contacts it is interesting this country has an interesting past they were quite the isolationist for quite a bit of time and they didn't really come out of that until the mid 90s so I, I kind of feel like they just they skipped a part of that because it doesn't seem like there's not really any amateur radio operators here either there is a few but 
<clears throat> not very active in that world. You don't see cars driving around that have any additional antennas, nothing. Like you, they have the standard, you know, AM, FM radio antennas or whatever, but that's it. Um, two-way radio is pretty limited to like professional use here. So very interesting. We'll see. I'll continue the mission of hunting nodes and I'll keep you updated. If you have questions, comments, put them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, check out our social media uh, links, which are down below and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.